What's up, what's up everybody? Today we're here on the Europe server account because today I wanna do a before and after comparison of BJR5 with and without artifacts. So here is the BJ, uh, here's the BJ, here's the Bailiger before we artifact him. Actually, I already have two artifacts in mind already, plus 15 uh, that are really good for Bailiger. They're exactly what we want, maybe not exactly what we want, but mostly what we want for Bailiger uh, that I'm gonna show you afterwards. Uh, and then, of course, we're gonna use them. We're gonna put them on him and we're gonna see the, the before and after comparison of his damage output. So, uh, Bailiger has plus 1727. Uh, the reason that we're doing this is because I want to show you guys that these artifacts, at the very, I mean, at the very least, it's going to be more than just that. But these artifacts are going to help a lot of players that don't have the rune quality to do BJR5 just yet. They're going to help them to actually be able to do BJR5 very uh, effectively, even without max towers because we don't have we have some tower upgrades on this account but we don't have the max towers um we're missing i think one on i think we have crit damage max i think we're missing one on attack and we're missing like six on fire attack right so and and we have like the hp and the defense like around halfway so anyway let's take a look at bailiger's runes he is at plus 1727 attack uh which is a little bit shy to have plus 1727 attack and 234 crit damage it still does good damage but it's not quite, we wanted to do a little bit more damage for R5 to be, uh, to be kind of where we need to be in, in, in damage, right? Um, the tankiness is just fine. He's at plus 10,000 HP. He's at plus 321 defense. That should be just fine. Uh, skill ups, he's got skill three skilled up, which is mandatory. Skill one, he's not going to be using skill one. I mean, he shouldn't, unless you fail, he's going to use skill one. But uh, he shouldn't be, he should be using skill two, uh, sorry, skill three is the only thing he should be using. So he shouldn't need skill one skill ups at all. Um, for this anyway, if you use him in other content, that's a different story. But the damage is a little bit shy. If we have uh, a Rika lead, if someone's using a Rika lead, and then we have fire, uh, fire nine tail fox and El Sharion leads, that's a different story. Then we're gonna have enough damage output that that's gonna that El Sharon lead or whatever else fire to uh, whatever else attack regular attack lead is uh, is one of the leaders kind of makes up for it. That's why Rika lead is such a uh, such a desirable thing for R5. But uh, here are the runes over here: attack, crit damage, attack. Let's go take a look. And some of these could be grinded to higher stats or gem to higher stats, et cetera, et cetera. So we can get the efficiency that way. But let's go take a look at how much damage he does. Here, the big thing is just we want to see how much damage he does before, and we want to see how much damage he does after, and we want to see what kind of good uh, artifacts are good for him. Here we are in R5. We got two supports. Let's take a look at their Bailigers just uh, to compare. That's not even that much better, actually. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> those five star runes. I love those five star runes. Uh, and then this is the other one. Uh, let's see how much damage. We only care about how much damage we are doing. Uh, but those are the stats for both of those. We only care about how much damage we're doing. So we have two crit rate leads and we have the attack power lead. So let's see how much damage our Bailiger does. And then we're going to compare side by side. All right. They're all using Kali, right? We're not going to have any issues, right? All right, so let's see how much he last hits for. That's basically the thing. 31k. That's a little low, right? 31k damage. So we need we need definitely more damage than that. Uh, 31. Is it, was it always that low, or did I change the runes? Maybe I changed the runes. Cause it used to be a little. I feel it used to be a little higher, but yeah. So there. I think maybe one of them is using. Is one of them using Fran? I don't know why it desynced. I'm gonna have to take a look at why, but. I mean, it won, but there was some kind of issue. I'm going to have to see what the issue was there. But anyway, let's see. 31k is a little bit low. Let's uh, artifact him up, and let's see what artifacts we choose, and let's see how it, uh, how it, uh, let's see how much damage it does. Okay, so we're back here at Bailiger. Uh, let's take a look at his stats again. 1727 attack power. Let's go take a look at our artifacts. That's not our art. That's not our artifacts. Let's go take a look at here at our artifacts. So he takes a fire and he, he takes an attack. And I believe, yeah, this is the one that we uh, we have for him. So let's engrave that. Remember, 1727 attack before. Let's take a look at the stats. Damage received from fire. It doesn't really matter for here. Damage received from water. It doesn't really matter from here. Uh, additional damage by 0.3% of HP. Damage dealt by tank counterattack. None of this really matters. All this is really here for is the attack plus 100%. That's all, because the rest of this stuff doesn't really matter in BJR5. Um, 
that's just how it is. The rest of the stuff doesn't matter in BJR5. Let's take a look at this one. So this is the other one for the right-hand side. Attack bar when revived, doesn't matter. Uh, skill 3, crit damage plus 15%. So that matters. That's very important for R5, right? That's very... Skill 3, extra 15% crit damage is huge for BJR5. And between the, the 200 extra attack... Sorry. The two, <laughs> so he used to clicking on roots. The 200 extra attack power and the 15% crit damage bonus, we're going to definitely see a difference in the amount of damage that he's actually putting out, which is really good for, like, mid-game players that are like, I'm just shy of the damage that I need for BJR5. Maybe some of the units... Maybe, um... Like, the Jansen is just not tanky enough and he's dying too much. Or maybe the Bailiger is like, you get the DPS out of the runes, but, like, you can't seem to squeeze the HP that he needs to not die, even though you have the DPS available. Um, which I feel like the HP is easier to just get in, like, gems and grinds. But, like, let's say, for example, and you kind of need extra HP somehow. Like, some kind of sub where it's, like, the more damage received, the more the defense uh, upgrades, and then your effective HP is basically higher uh, based on that. But 15% crit damage and 200 extra attack. So 1927 attack. That's a big difference. That's a big difference in the damage output that we're going to have. So let's go take a look. I'm going to have to see who we can finagle to either find a BJR5 with us or if we can find two more reps. I was able to actually find two other people that had BJR5 teams. Let's take a look at the runes over here. 17, 17, 248. So less uh, attack power and more crit damage. Uh, and then we have for this guy, let's take a look. Uh, 20, 20, oh, 2077. Perfect, we have artifacts on him too. Thank you, Gingri. We're going to be able to actually see how Gingri artifacted him. 2077, solid attack power. Okay, additional damage by 7% of attack. Additional damage by 2% of defense. Uh, and then the flat attack is really big. This one's not even flat attack. This one's skill 3 crit damage plus 16. That's why skill 3 crit damage. Uh, speed plus proportion to a skill 4 crit damage. Well, there's no skill 4. Never mind. Uh, crit rate increasing effect, which is not... There's no crit buff on the team. Uh, and then speed plus proportion to lost HP. Would that not desync? I, I would be concerned that that might desync. Maybe. Right, that would be, I, I, I don't know, I, let's test it out, let's see. And of course, uh, just to recap, here is ours again, attack, damage, attack, boom, boom, attack plus, attack plus for the primary stats and the skill 3 crit damage, plus 15. So let's see how much, uh, let's see how much that actually improves his damage output. I can't wait, I actually know how much it does, but let's see. So we had 31,000 before, and now we have attack buff, defense break, and we have... 33 and change. 33 something. 33. It should be high 33. Was that 33.3 3 or is that 33.8? There's going to be another uh, another blast so we can see again. But it should be it should be like high 33s slash 34. 33.7. Okay, but that was a noticeable. That's And that's not just the last hit. That's extra damage for every single hit. So it's a big difference. It's a big difference in the, in the damage output that we actually get. So it's going to be... Uh, much easier for mid-game players that are like a little bit shy of the damage they need, a little bit shy of the stats that they need to actually do BJR5. So Kamto's like, we're gonna try to nerf BJR5 so people don't keep cheesing R5. Community's like, he just released artifacts to make BJR5 easier. Or maybe that was the intention to make BJR5 easier for everyone instead of like only being able to do it if you have extremely rune-efficient Bailiger. I don't know. Or 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 the third option, it's completely irrelevant and they didn't even consider BJ. They're like, okay, if it helps BJ at five, then it's fine, but that's not what we're doing it for. Which is the most likely the situation is it's not. It's like if if it happens to be like a side effect, then um it is what it is. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that I thought it was great that it's actually easier to uh, easier to get the stats needed for Bailiger for R5 now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got something out of it. That's it for this one, and I will see you as always in the next one.